feel say ne ho ofe sapo and then there's kwame nanasa say for the boachi dia oyin ka thank you thank you so so you see the kwame yeah we exude greatness thank you we exude greatness do you do you feel proud saying this yes <laughs> Tell him, how are you guys? Tell him how's everybody? Good. How's everybody? Good. Good. Well. Good. Mental Pictures 5. Mental how was it? Please ask those who are there to tell you. Yeah. I, I had fun from where I was. You had yeah. fun from where you from were. Where I was. Where you were sitting. I had a time of my life. Mm. Fantastic, fantastic. Kwame, you were there. Yes. yes. Tell us. Well, well, how it, was it was that? great. It was nice. You know, a blend of poetry, fashion, arts, music, everything on one stage. Mm. It was fantastic. But I had a chance to speak to the woman who gave birth to the great Nana Sase. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, Mrs. Yeah, yeah. Esther Dia Uyinka. Thank okay. You. I just wanted to know the, how the experience was like mm. um, seeing somebody like Nana Sase come from a home of people who expect who may expect their children to maybe take up jobs mm. in the offices mm. in the corporate world mm. but seeing Nana Sase drift if you like. Yeah. Into something. No drift, not even yes. like drift. <laughs> into something that most people may think doesn't really yeah, pay in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. Her opinion on that. Okay. So there is a video to show. Okay. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. All right. Let's take a look at that video. Uh, the dad was against it because of that negative perception. He wanted him to, you know, sort of lecture at the university or get some official job to do because he was a health service administrator. So, Nana, you know, he's very uh, persistent or focused in what he wants to do. So he tried to convince me in the first place, and I had to convince Daddy, yeah, to always. yes, to <laughs> accept, you know, that talent. So we support him. So the beginning, you know, it wasn't easy for him, but I realized it was a gift. Nana's, you know. Uh, gift is divine, let me put it that way, because when he's there, he speaks, you know, it's more of spirit than the physical something. So I realized something in the boy. So I decided to give him my maximum support. So whatever God has planted in him will just come out to perfection. Yeah, so I managed to convince that when he was, he was alive, he's no more in a way. So I think one of his programs we managed to attend. I tried to pull Daddy along. We came and even Daddy came in to read one of his poems. He had printed us some books, so he came out to read some books. So even people said, ah, Nana, this one is just like your dad, like father, like son, because of how he speaks, how he, he reads the slangs and the tone of voice. Yeah. So I told him, you see, it's, it's just like you. So you gave it to him. And from there, he started, you know, appreciating that gift. And we started giving him our support, our prayers, and whatever support that he needed. And would you say this has benefited him in any way? Yeah, I can see it's really benefited him because uh, I, I see and I feel the joy whenever he has the opportunity to you know, display that talent. I see him over excited and, you know, that is how I see. So it's really helped him. If he had not allowed him to go uh, what he wanted, I wouldn't have known what would have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. those were the words of <laughs> Anastasia's mother. <laughs> Kwame, yeah. Kwame, Kwame. Mo near to my way, yeah, yeah, because you have money to let the, the mother of Nanasa sister, yes. yeah, and you can see where the thing comes from. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. So, you see, you know, you wet, no one, 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 Wow. Yeah. Um, Nana, talk to us about the importance of parents yes. not stifling the obvious uh, passion and pursuits yeah. of their mm -hmm. children. Did I have not say good morning? So good morning <laughs> as well. <laughs> good morning to my children. They are not wish me like this. <laughs> Every parent is responsible for their child up to the point where, back in a traditional setting, let me take you there, when a boy is of age, 
you give him a piece of land to start farming. You build a hut for him. If you have a gun, you give it to him. Mm. You have some livestock for him. When he's married, typically your father will even help you choose yeah. him. And then he knows he sets you up in life. <laughs> you are good to go. So parents are actually guardian angels of the souls or who are given to them as children. Yeah. And so as a parent, it's good that you identify what your child brought yeah. here. Yeah. Help them pursue it. Mm. And in pursuing it, the glory always comes back to you yeah. because they will say the son of. Mm. 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 You know, a child is never when you be in US, there's yeah. no bad child. It's only an elder yeah. you know, who gives birth to a child. So it's always back to the child. But you realize that once a parent gives their blessing to anything you do, mm. look, it flies. Right. It succeeds. Right. Mm. And so it's important that parents will realize that. Look, don't live your unfulfilled dreams through your children. Yeah. It won't work. That's you right. wanted to be Such a doctor. Okay. Yeah. It does not mean all your children you must be doctors. Must be doctors. Mm -hmm. One of my teachers who taught me literature, Mr. Ishmael Ishen, was in the science. He says, Yeah, when I enter the, the, the lab, I can't see the chemicals and the metals you're talking about. I threw the science somewhere. He taught me literature. Mm. Wow. Mm. You know, wow. he's now a lawyer. Mm. All those chemicals okay. and metals did not make How meaning fun. to it. It didn't make sense to him. Mm. In history, there are a lot of people who have mm. done that. They True. study the courses because their parents want them to do yeah. it as a thing of prestige yeah. or whatever it is. But when the child finds their calling and the parents support, give yeah. that blessing, they, they flourish. grow up to be yeah. some of the very finest That's what they do. Fantastic. Yeah. It might be simple. Yeah, no, no, I cannot. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. honestly, and I can even bring it back to a personal experience mm. when I wanted to, and I had studied IT, you know, I think because of perhaps my multi-talented nature, you know, anything I set my hands to do, I could do it until I discovered photography and I love photography. So for a while, I couldn't tell my dad that I'm photo. Photo. Exactly. You know, be a photo. You know, because mind you, my dad was an excellent dream man. You know, he had taken me to school and everything. And anything I wanted to do, he would buy me books. So when I was growing up, you know, in African home, it's either you're a lawyer, you're a doctor, or all disappointment. So these a lawyer, a doctor, or a disappointment. Yeah, you can't be anyone. You know, so. I told my dad, oh, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a doctor. Well, as I was climbing around, I said, oh, the biology, you know, they... I'm fat, they were. So I was like, oh, I'm, I'm good numbers, let me try accountant, you know, I try accountant numbers, you know. I'm fat. I said, no, I'll go to IT. Mm. So I was launching IT and everything. So my dad thought I was going to be an IT person. I was like, oh, make your photo. Mm. It wasn't easy. Mm. It wasn't easy until he could understand that what I was doing was not chinahoji. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. No, it's true. It wasn't the Sunday yeah. mm -hmm. family. Everybody comes yeah. together. Let's take a picture and then print out. You yeah. know, it was more of digital. I was like, oh, okay, where he's going, he's seen some of these things there. Mm. He thinks it will fly. And then that's how I found myself into media. Yes, yeah, he gave my he gave me the blessing to come to media. So yeah. I think it's very very important that parents in, and they tap into the thing early. Mm. You know, you don't wait for the child to go sideways and then you know lose like. Many people are now upset or disappointed that they didn't allow their children to play football early. Mm. You know, because mm. when the child wanted to play football, yeah. my dad told when I wanted to play for my dad told me, he said I go to a football academy or go to school, but mm. he's not going to pay my school fees if I go to a football academy. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So my dreams of being a school. Hard place to yeah, be so me I'm a disappointed footballer. Yeah. You understand. <laughs> so even if it's one where Ole Lake came from, that is where he came mm. from. Okay. <laughs> you get it. So let's jump into the conversation about yeah. Uh, yeah, but no, this is a very important yeah. Yeah. You know, topic yeah. for all of us as a nation yeah. to deal with. Yeah. Uh, but we want to move it on quickly. Where is she? Oh, Chai. What's the what's what's the she she all right, so she you know when Ishe is out with a new song called Heat mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and uh all of a sudden people are praising Wendy Shea, or if you like, Bullet, mm. because it is perceived that Bullet writes almost every song for yeah. Wendy Shea. Mm. And now, before Wendy Shea came into the system, um, we all knew and understood it was Bullet that wrote the song, even for Ebony. Yes. Mm. So obviously, any time Wendy Shea comes, comes out with a song, yeah. that, yes. especially when he's working, yes. like, yeah. oh, this is Bullet I'm writing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the same with Heat, people are saying, oh, Bullet is solid, yeah. uh, a songwriter, and mm. all. But when she has a different opinion, she believes that most times when uh, she comes up with a song, we attribute the songwriting prowess to somebody else. Mm -hmm. But there are so many female musicians right here in Ghana who also have songwriters, but we never ask, oh, when the children are the man, the songwriter is good, or we say the song is nice. Mm -hmm. 
So why is it that in time? If you see, we release a song, we try to attribute yeah. that to Bullet. There is a tweet. Let's take a look at that. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the tweet. So when the says, uh, almost every female artist in Ghana has a songwriter, uh, but nobody really cares who writes for them. But every time when the uh, drops a, a hit song, um, they w they want to credit everything to so called the so called songwriter. Ghana, wake up. Yeah. You're right. So <laughs> you say you say so. Afraid, afraid bullet so called song. So called song. Right. If you want to stir the controversy, when, yeah. he, when he herself, she will be in problem because bullet has brought you as has contributed his cause <laughs> to bring it the way they say brand to this point. Yeah. It's not our fault for us to think that. You are not the one writing your songs. Mm. I think she should understand. But are you that. sure she wrote this? Well, she said. Not, she, she, said she said. Well, you see, <laughs> the lines, the lines that Kwame is talking about, right? There's a particular line or two mm. that you know seems to smell of bullets handwriting. Okay. You know, and it's a very controversial line. Very, very controversial line. And mm. we know how bullets test the soup. We know how he likes to get it done. You get me? He's known for that. So anytime anybody hears a song, yeah. we know this is definitely bullet. But if Wendy says, okay, at this point in time. I'm the one writing that songs, then congratulations. Mm -hmm. We give you all the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We wish all the best. Yeah, no, no, you want to comment on that? Yes. Yeah. Look, it's because the music is good. That is why we want to enjoy the song and probably find out who, who, yeah. who wrote it. Yeah. Who wrote it. Yeah. There are a lot of performers who necessarily might not be the creators of their works. It doesn't take any credit from you as a performer. Right. Mm -hmm. It simply says, well, my forte is in probably delivering. Yeah. That's mm. right. Or my proper, uh, my forte is in writing. There are a lot yeah. of artists who would create for other people to present their works, but I feel that my simple word to Wendy would be this: the music is that good, so mm. people want to bother themselves to mm. find out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who wrote it extra. Yeah. I don't think it should really be about that. Mm. Okay, let me quickly chip in. Yes, you know the song uh, Justin Bieber's uh, "Love Yourself." You should go and mm -hmm. love yourself. Do you know who wrote that song? No, who did? Sharon. Okay. Oh. And when I got to find out, immediately I could tell. Why the song was like that? Because mm -hmm. that's a song a children will do. Do you get? So there's nothing wrong with people writing the songs so. for you. Mm. Akaba used to write for Akaba used to write for Becca. Mm. It was later we got to know Akaba was a songwriter mm -hmm. because of the award he won yeah. at the VGMA. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong. There are some people they can't deliver like okay. as I say, you can, they okay. can't deliver. So just tell her that she will see with the song. We, we're going to talk about City Countdown, but oh, I yeah. think that it could possibly be a marketing strategy. To get all of us, to why, 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 to why, why, yeah, no, like we're talking about that the why, because because it was and when you wrote that. And so now be you now, man. So unu, no, no, no. I do tweet and get some money, Choi. Okay, let's talk about the card. Let's talk about the card. Let's talk about the card. Let me embrace again. I'm glad. Let's talk about the card. Okay, so the countdown every Friday on ninety-seven point three City FM at four PM. Okay, and on Saturday right here with Olele Salvador. Yeah, but well, whilst we stay the soup and remove the meat. <laughs> Let's take a look at the songs that made to this week's City Countdown. This is the City Countdown.